Hey, I'm Rita Moreno and you're watching New You. Congratulations on second season. How was so how was everything? Thrilled. <gasps> Oh, we, we, we really waited an unusually long time, too, so we were beginning to get worried. Right. And uh, finally it happened. I, I was just damn near peed myself. <laughs> very exciting, very exciting. That means exciting. That means exciting. <laughs> so um, what would you like to see happen season two, or what do you think we can expect? Well, you know what? Um, I uh, <laughs> threw a few suggestions for my character, Lydia, yeah. the grandmother to the writers and to Norman, and they like the idea a lot. Okay. They liked it so much that now I'm not free to talk about it. Really? Let's just say that it's very relevant. Very relevant. Should help. Okay, very interesting. You've intrigued us now, so we're gonna have to find out. Do you think we'll be able to figure out what, what idea was yours? Uh, yeah, you will. Yep. Because now that I've said that, yes. Yeah, now, okay, so we'll stay tuned. I'm now very excited. Very exciting. Now for you, what was the biggest moment of season one or your favorite moment? Boy, that's hard because this show uh, just had so many. I mean, it really did. Yeah. One of my favorites was the one where there's a, a talk about God and does he exist or does he not exist between the mother and the grandmother. For starters, when I first saw that script, I thought, we can do this? We can, and I thought, oh, of course, of course. It's Netflix, we can do stuff like that. It's amazing, the freedom. When the, when the mother and the daughter, you know, disagree. And, and uh, I love that show, it was also extremely funny, but they all are. And then there's always that social issue with every single episode, and that's, that's what makes it a Norman Lear show. Absolutely. Yeah, you know, you, you're not just doing ha ha, Kuchi, 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 and funny jokes. You're doing that, but you're also doing stuff that has some real meaning. And yeah. I think it's one of the reasons the audience loved it so much. They love the, the uh, family. They love the family. So. Yeah, the response has been great. Now, lastly, we focus a lot on health at New You. Do you have any health advice that you'd like to give young fans, your younger self? No, you know, I, uh, I really believe I'm 85 now. It's amazing. You're looking incredible. And uh, it's important to me to keep my brain as active as possible. Not so easy. Let me tell you, when you're 85, you forget a lot of stuff. Yeah. You just do. Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, I've learned a few things that help me a lot. One is to walk backwards. That makes you in, in a space where it's safe to do it. Right. But it makes your brain work. That. The other thing is to, uh, I'm right-handed, to write with your left hand. Wow. Anything that challenges your brain is great. Crossword puzzles, all that kind of stuff. Isn't that interesting? No, that is really great advice. And it works. It <laughs> works. And yes, you really have to exercise. You really do. So true. Like I love it or that. not, I, I don't like it because I don't do dance class anyway. It's just too hard. My knees are so battered from all those years of dancing on high heels. But um, walking, I do walking. And. Uh, that's important, you really have to stay on top of that.